Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to find probability uh, for a standard normal distribution. <laughs> I'm always hesitating in the beginning <laughs> because I'm shy <laughs> to talk. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me turn on microphone here. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna open StackCrunch. So let us open. <laughs> All right, now do calculators and using uh, normal there. So let me make a where the pen, so stack calculators and normal, normal, okay? We're gonna click that. All right, let me bring this one in center. Uh, we know we're gonna use this for, so let me go back to the problem one more time. So we're gonna find this one, okay? Uh, we want to know what's the probability when Z is less than 2.16, 2.16, let me memorize 2.16. So 2.16, let me write down first before I forget. <laughs> then let me explain. <laughs> okay, so since we are using Z, right? This is Z, then by property, Z uh, mean is zero, standard, devi the, the, the <laughs> standard deviation is the one, right? So we're gonna use this one, okay? Let us compute. <laughs> okay, 0.9846. So let me know. 0.9846. 0.9846, okay? Uh, how about the rounding up? Let me see. Okay, so we are safe round off, right? So um, one is less than five, so we round it down. So we're gonna write down all the small places like a point nine eight four six. All right, then let us do, you want to submit, check the answer? Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, let us do in the bottom, uh, Question number four. We want to know probability when Z is greater than 1.91. Okay, so this one. Let us go to second. Z is greater than 1.91, right? <laughs> <laughs> so greater, let me write down this one first and then change the inequality symbol, 1.91, ah, 1.91. And change inequality symbol there, greater, greater or equal to, same thing. So compute in this stack range, right? Okay, so we will have, 0 0.0280, but look, in the fifth decimal place, right? So six is greater than five. We do round up. Round up means we give it to the one in the fourth decimal place, right? Okay, so it'll be 0 0.0281, 0 0.0281, 0 0.0281. Okay, 
in zero to a one. All right. So now let us do between. How do we do between? So I'm doing example number five. Between. It's hard to remember, but a little bit easy number here. So Z is between negative 1.81 and negative 1.8. So let us go to sequence negative 1.81. So I'm gonna click between and then negative 1.81 with negative one point, right? Eight, negative, right? It was negative. And then this is Z, okay? So we're gonna make a compute. So this is the answer. It will be point, this two tiny number, point zero 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 seven eight. So in the one, two, three, four, fifth digit, right? That's my place, not digit. It's eight. So eight is greater than five. Round up. Round up means we're going to give it to the one in the fourth decimal place, right? So it will be 0 0.0008, okay? So let's do that. Uh, point, point 0 0.0008. All right, so we are done. I hope this one helps you. Thank you, bye.